Happy Super Bowl, everybody. I think we can all say that this is probably the only time of year that we feel super duper happy and also super duper sad simultaneously. So let's all feel it together. Let's take a moment. Y'all good? I'm good. Okay, before we get into the fun stuff, you know, the props, y'all gotta know who I'm taking for Super Bowl 55. Yes, I know it's hard to go against the GOAT, but if you're gonna go against the GOAT, you gotta take the up and coming GOAT in Patrick Mahomes. That's right, I'm sorry Tampa fans, I'm taking the Chiefs minus the three. I think that Kansas City is going to have way too much offensive power, and I think that their defense is gonna make enough plays to slow Tampa Bay down, and I feel comfortable taking the up and coming GOAT. Kansas City, my boy Andy Reid in his Hawaiian shirt, minus the three. And now on to props. Everybody! The first anytime touchdown that I believe has some value, or did when I took it earlier in the week, is a Mike Evans anytime touchdown. Mike Evans has been an absolute beast. Since he was catching balls back for now, not so money Manziel, I think that Mike Evans has tremendous value and definitely will be scoring a touchdown this Super Bowl. Another anytime touchdown I like, and this one might just be a little home bias, but that is Clyde Edwards Hilaire to score an anytime touchdown. I got that earlier in the week for like plus 220. I'm sure it's moved a little bit since then. This is a big dude ready for big games. And I feel like plus 220 for this guy in the Super Bowl, I like my chances. If you like a Kelsey or a Hill anytime touchdown, go put it in a same game parlay. Much better value there. Next prop I have for you, the under six and a half punts for the entire game. Tampa Bay is averaging 3.4 punts per game and Kansas City is averaging 2.9. I think both of these teams know how incredibly crucial it's going to be to keep the ball out of the other team's hands. You have two super controlling coaches, super aggressive. I can see a lot of exciting fourth downs. Y'all, it's the Super Bowl. These guys are leaving it all on the field. I'm ready for an exciting game. I'm ready to see Brady and Mahomes go at it like no other. I like the under six and a half puns. Next, would it really be a Super Bowl if you aren't betting on some of these stupid props? I mean, the other ones are not stupid, but this next one is kind of stupid. But that's where y'all need to remember to gamble responsibly, AKA some change, pizza money, beer money, not your 401ks. So obviously we have a coin toss in this start of the Super Bowl. Last year, Kansas City picked heads and they lost. I have a feeling they switch it up this year and they pick tails, tails never fails. On top of that, I'm gonna make it a little bit more fun because there's also a prop that whoever wins the coin toss will also win the game and that's for some good plus money. If everything goes right, Kansas City hits tails, they win the coin toss and they win the game and we all cast for all three, yay! That's all I got for this week. Happy NFL year season. Happy Super Bowl. I love you guys. Best of luck and let's make some money.